Hello, my students. Again, we are back for uh, a scoring guide as far as uh, UNEB mathematics for UCE is concerned. Here with us is just one item from section A. We shall be breaking one by one, but as for today, I've come up with the scoring guide, and uh, really we are want to look at the marking points that UNEB is looking at and what we are supposed to present as far as this is concerned. So if you look at item number one, majorly this item looks at one theme, and that theme is numbers. So under this, we shall be looking at the real applications of number bases. That is one topic that is involved here. Another topic is uh, percentages, decimals and fractions. Another topic is uh, ratios and proportions. We have also another topic that is numerical concepts one and two, where we have the sides and the indices. Uh, so under this, we shall majorly be looking at one theme, and that is numbers. So there is also another topic called working with integers, where we normally look at the application of the GCF and the, H and the LCM. That's the greatest common factor and the lowest common multiples. So if you look at the, 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 what you name put on our tables just recently, this is what is in item number one, and hope you can see it, that we have a parish agricultural officer has received 450 kilograms of fertilizers for maize and 120 liters of ant-tick vaccine for cattle. He tends to distribute the fertilizers equally among the farmers and also distribute ant-tick vaccine equally among the same farmers, he wants to establish the number of farmers that will get the items. Joseph is one of the farmers and his daily milk production is 180 liters. He sells 60% of the milk at 850 shillings per liter and donates one over 15 of the many milk to an orphanage. He has been advised to use the quantity of milk left after selling and donating to make yogurt and butter in the ratio of one to three. However, Joseph has a challenge of determining the amount of milk he should use to make butter. And there we got the task. Now, I don't want to take a lot of time because I want us to first have a summary of this item. Before you can approach this item, you need to first have this summary. I have told you, this, this, the theme numbers has something like five topics, but at least you find some three which will come under this. So if you look at this, according to the topics I've just talked about, I'm seeing something like uh, percentages, fractions, and decimals appearing here. We have something like ratios and proportions, something like working with integers. So you see, at least the three have appeared in this item. So we are going to be breaking down into small, some, some simple bits and how easily you can approach this item. The first step you need to do the moment you get this question paper after you know the instructions and what, read through item number one the first time, like I've read. Then the second time, read it through while making summaries. Just make something, a very simple summary. You don't need to have a lot of words as if you're recopying the question. So if you look at this, uh, I, we, this is what I came up with. I've tried to make a simple summary just for this tutorial, like you're seeing it here. So you're seeing proposed scoring guide for UCE UNEB Math 2025 by teacher Bukanya Innocent, and the numbers are there. So look at item number one. The summary is very clear. So we are saying that when we read through the question, you're seeing that uh, a parish agriculture officer has received 450 kilograms of fertilizers. Whenever you find a numerical value, write that, that, that one down. So you're seeing that we have 450 kilograms of fertilizers for what? For maize. So you come to your summary, write that down. Kilograms of fertilizers for maize equals to 450. Likewise, look for any other figure that is appearing. The question says, and 120 liters of antique vaccine for cattle also. So there's, that's a numerical value. Come again, liters of antique vaccine for cattle is cost 120. Then let us continue. 
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he intends to distribute the fertilizers equally among the farmers and also distribute antique vaccine equally among the same farmers. He wants to establish the number of farmers that will get the items. So that is a problem now in the question. One of the things the farmer wants to establish is the number of farmers that will get the items. Then you say in your summary, Roman 3, number of farmers to be given uh, the items equally. Uh, we don't know. That's why you have the question mark. Go to the next paragraph. Joseph is one of the farmers. And his dynamic production is 108. I've told you whenever I find a numerical value, please and please go extra miles and summarize that. Write a summary 180 liters of what? Of medic. So that one should also appear in your summary. Uh huh. Then also, uh, as we continue, we're seeing that he sells 60% of the medic at. 850 shillings per liter. All these are numerical values. We have 60 percent. We have uh, shillings, uh, uh, 850 shillings per liter. That is a value. So wherever you find a value, go and summarize. So according to my summary here, you can see the kilograms of fertilizers for maize, liters of antique vaccine. So in other words, the whole of the question has been just summarized in something just here. If you look at what I've just highlighted, that is just the, the whole of the question. So instead of feeling a lot of words and doing what, at least that summary can be now. You can have the whole question just comp comp uh, compacted in that like we have seen. Okay, after that, then you go directly to the what? To the task. To the task. What we have as the first task? Uh huh. What, what's the question saying? Part A, Roman 1 says, Help the Polish agriculture officer to establish the number of farmers that will receive the items. Number of farmers that will receive the items. Remember, the question says he intends to distribute the fertilizers equally among the farmers and also. They are distributed the antique vaccine equally among the farmers. So that is a direct application of the LCM and the HC, H, I mean the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the application of the greatest common factor or the highest common factor. You will be checking in my uh, first tutorials uh, on, on this platform, you'll be seeing how do we, when, when to apply the, the, the lowest common factor and the, I mean the, the lowest common multiple and the highest common factors. Those applications we are clearly explained in my first tutorials. You go to my YouTube channel, that is Teacher of Kenya Innocent, and you find out when to apply the GCF and when to apply the LCM. So for this case, we are supposed to apply the greatest common factor like you're seeing here. So after manipulating it, one may not take you again through how we get this, but uh, if you watch the first tutorials, you'll be getting to know. So in other words, if you may want to look at the question approach. Identifying that this that we are required to get the greatest common factor, that is a mark. That's why on my side of scoring, you're seeing that I equals to one. That's an identification. Then your manipulations, get, going to some and getting the LCM, that is equals to one. I mean the GCF, that is uh, manipulation equals to one. Getting the answer, also manipulation equals to one. Then there is this answer that we call the conclusion or the response. Remember, here we are responding directly to the question. So this is a very, very important. That's why I have response. Therefore, 30 farmers will receive the items. Now, 30 farmers, according to the question, the question wanted the number of farmers that will receive the items. So that means I'm responding directly to that task, like you're seeing there. Okay, let us now continue with the part A, Roman 2. According to the question, part A, Roman 2 says, kilograms of fertilizers and liters of vaccine each farmer will, will get. And remember, what we have now, <coughs> we have uh, 30 farmers. We've discovered that 
we, 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 we have 30 farmers and now the items remember 450 kilograms of fertilizers 120 uh, uh, liters of vaccines that means I'll just divide this amount in the what with the farmers so that is manipulation equals to one manipulation equals to one then coming to the response you're responding to the task that's why you can see that we are having application equals to one and an application equals to one that is responding to the task remember this mark for application is given for the conclusion or responding directly to what the task wanted let us run back to part b Part B says, help Joseph to determine the amount of money he collects from the milk he, he sells. Okay? So, according to, to, to that's what, according to that part, you are saying that, but volume, you know, uh, sometimes you cannot just reach, you cannot reach directly such responses. You need to first drive some steps. But it is very good to be telling the examiner, eh? It must be a talking response. Your work must be communicating to the examiner what you're doing. The, the major target is the amount of money this man collects from the milk he sells. But you're seeing that you must have the volume of the milk sold. Because knowing the volume of the milk sold, you will know that there are 180 liters, and then I find it to multiply by the amount per liter, which, which you have done here, and you hope you can see that the amount is 91,800. So the response now becomes, therefore Joseph collects 91,800 from the milk he, he sells. Let's talk about part B, uh, part B, Roman 2. The Joseph to determine the amount of milk he should use to make to make butter. Remember, we already have everything in the summary here. Now the milk, there's an amount of milk given to the orphanage, which is one over 15 of the remaining milk after selling the 60 percent of the liters. The remaining now on the remainder, one over 15 is the mood to cater for the orphanage. Then the rest of the milk, that's the one that is used for making yogurt and butter in the ratio of one to three. Now because I have my summary, I don't need to go back every time going to the, to the item to check for information. No, because I've already summarized it. Okay, so when you come here, again, part B, Roman 2, uh, like I've said, we cannot just run, rush into exactly the, the where the, 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 the task is, but we have to fast drive. That's why you say, you see volume of the milk you should use to make butter. Uh, then we say the but, but volume of the milk sold. What is the amount of milk that, is, that, is, that this man sells? Shall get uh, the total number of, 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 of liters of milk minus the total amount of milk he sells. So we shall be remaining 72 liters and remember one over 15 of that remainder of this 72 is the one that is donated to the orphanage so we shall also go extra miles and manipulate it then we shall be coming up with the volume of the milk for making uh, i mean we shall be looking for the mil volume of milk for making both yogurt and and the butter remember out of the 72 liters he has reduced 4.8 liters to do what to cater for the orphanage then the remaining milk now that's when the ratio comes in for yogurt and butter so this is the now see volume of milk for making both yogurt and butter so after that then we can come and say 72 minus 4.8 then we get the number of liters for for both yogurt and that and the butter but remember this amount again is shared by yogurt and that and, and the butter of which out of this they are shared in a ratio of one to what to three so to get uh, uh for for butter alone i'll just get the total ratio then get that the, the three parts of butter that you can see over the total ratio time was the amount of milk that is left out then i'll be coming up with 50.4 liters and therefore i'll give my response as joseph should use 50.4 liters of milk to make butter so that is any application equals to one so with this please i came up with this uh, i hope you can see right from here that the identification marks were three manipulation equals to 18 marks and application equals to five marks giving us a total of 26 marks so it depends on how you enable you score it but according to me that's how i've tried to identify what exactly was required from 
neighbor. So one thing you know, I've said that, make a summary. After making a summary, make your manipulations. Let it be a talking response. Please communicate to the examiner what exactly you're doing and what exactly you're looking for. Because many steps, it's not one step, there are a number of steps that lead you that they are taking to the responses. So that's why you need to do uh, uh, your responses in a talking way. Let them be communicated to the examiner. Just see, those are the topics which you shall find always and always in item number one. I've told you there are five topics I have uh, number bases, working with integers, fraction decimals and percentages, ratios and proportions, numerical concepts one and two. Those are the topics we shall be finding under this item. So this item is a must pass. Hope you can see. Let us meet again for item number two in the next tutorial. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I remain teacher Bukanya Innocent, a teacher of mathematics and chemistry. I love you all.